Well, throughout the Michael Flynn saga, many assumed that Flynn was spied on and then unmasked by half the Obama administration due to the FISA surveillance of the Russian ambassador. But a recent really interesting piece in National Review by frequent show guest Andy McCarthy makes a really interesting, a really a compelling claim. He says that Flynn's phone call was never unmasked at all. Instead, McCarthy argues the facts point to another weirder possibility, that the CIA was spying on Flynn's call and never followed FISA restrictions in the first place. Matt Whitaker is former acting attorney general and author of the brand new book, Above the Law, the inside story of how the Justice Department tried to subvert President Trump. Matthew Whitaker joins us tonight. Thanks so much for coming on. So right, how, what do you make of this theory that the CIA ignored FISA and just spied on Flynn? Well, as you point out, because he was not unmasked, there was no request from the time of that phone call in, on December 29th until really the White House meeting on January 5th, when ultimately the White House uh, chief of staff requested unmasking of General Flynn, there has to be some other explanation because on January 3rd of 2017, Andy McCabe went to the National Security Division head at DOJ, Mary McCourt, and said essentially the contents of the call. And so there is a period of time from the 29th of December of 16 until that meeting between McCabe and McCourt where someone told McCabe and then McCabe transmitted that information. So, and there's no unmasking in that t period of time. So it's very right. uh, curious to say the least. So uh, you ran the Justice Department, explain to us non-lawyers, would it be legal for the CIA to spy on American citizens and then just leak what they found to other agencies and the media? Uh, the short answer is no. There are constitutional tenants here that are at play. Now, this happened while um, Mr. Flynn was out of the country, and we don't specifically know where the ambassador to Russia was located. It may have been in D.C., it may have been in Russia. So this may have been intercepted by the CIA under a different program or by a friendly uh, third, part, third country. But the biggest concern is exactly what you point out, which is this constitutional uh, that it violates the Fourth Amendment, it violates all sorts of policies and procedures. But nonetheless, on January 3rd, Andy McCabe had essentially the transcript of verbatim of this call. No elected leader can run a country in which the biggest law enforcement and intel agencies operate independently in violation of the Constitution. Democracy dies under those circumstances. So we have to fix this. It doesn't seem like anyone's really working to fix it. Please reassure me that someone is, because I just don't see it. Well, the Constitution is ever renewing, and those we continue to live under those, and we do need our elected and appointed executive branch officials, including the intelligence agencies, to follow basic tenets of constitutional law. Uh, it, it is, uh, you're right, this country will suffer and suffer greatly if we don't get back to that being the fundamental basis of all of these surveillance programs and making sure that the, the, the law and the Constitution is followed every single time. So, because unlike Mitch McConnell, Democrats just don't mess around at all. If a Democrat is elected president, next time one is, aren't they just going to fire everybody and put their cousins in charge of these agencies? Well, hopefully from this painful chapter that we've experienced over the last three years, really since the transition of power in 2016 to the Trump administration, the intelligence agencies have uh, lacked some adult supervision. I think we are seeing folks put in by the Trump administration, but there's no uh, promise that when Biden, you know, if, if he were to get elected, uh, would put adults in charge of the intelligence agency. Right. No, he put loyalists in charge. He'd be afraid not yeah. to. And that's when things just, that's when we just get fully third world at that point, I think. Matt, right. Matt Whitaker, thank you so much. Congrats on the new book. Thank you, Tucker.